is that the governor has appointed a 10-member committee to take a hard look at Detroit's finances. Now, the governor has said over and over again he doesn't want to appoint an emergency manager, but his actions are speaking much louder than his words. And I can tell you tonight there's a lot of questions at City Hall as this committee has been formed. Let's take a look at that committee. Here's this team. It's led by State Treasurer Andy Dillon and Doug Ringler, also on there, director of the state's internal audit services in the Department of Technology. Dr. Irvin Reed, a retired president of Wayne State University. Dr. Isaiah Ike McKinnon, retired chief of police for the city of Detroit. Conrad Mollett, president of DMC Sinai Grace. Jack Martin, certified public accountant. Dr. Glenda Price, president emeritus of Mary Grove College. She also serves on CompuWare's board of directors. Shirley Stenkato, CEO of New Detroit, a group created to improve race relations in Southeast Michigan, and Frederick Heaton, Director of Michigan's Department of Treasury's Local Government Services Bureau, Brom Stibitz, Senior Policy Advisor for the Michigan Department of Treasury, rounds out this committee. So this group has 60 days to take a hard look at the city's finances. The appointments come after a report was issued last week by the treasurer's office saying Detroit is facing probable financial stress. The 10 member group will present their findings to the governor. Now, during this period, though, the council and the mayor can still get together and try and figure out exactly how to fix this mess. But they don't have a lot of time because not only does the consent agreement part of up, the emergency manager part is just a few steps away. So basically, we're one or two steps away from seeing an emergency manager in Detroit if the city council cannot come to some kind of agreement to solve the city's, uh, the city's financial uh, crisis with the mayor. Well, of course, beyond this and uh, keeping you posted, we're going to try and reach out to some of these members as we already have throughout the afternoon to get their take on being appointed to this 10 member panel. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. All right, Tom, thanks so much. And you mentioned the mayor and the council. Council need to come to an agreement. They have indeed been working hard. Mayor Bing released this statement to us tonight. We will continue to fully cooperate with the state review process and the newly appointed financial review team. At the same time, my staff and I have worked through the holiday break with union leadership on my plan that seeks savings of $102 million for this fiscal year and $258 million in fiscal year 2012 2013. We will continue to negotiate until we reach agreement to resolve the city's financial crisis. And you can Count on 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for continuing coverage on the city's financial crisis. We will bring you any new developments as they become available.